What is the impact of the marketing of junk food to children? So one of the interesting things about the discussion that followed my presentation at the Caribbean Week of Agriculture is that the discussion was almost exclusively around school feeding and what it is children are eating. Because I think that everybody recognizes that childhood obesity is a huge problem in the region. It's increasing at 1% per year. That is not sustainable. We have the doubled diabetes rate, hypertension, heart disease, and all of that. The issue is how do children and society in general, how do they eat and what influences what they eat? And a lot of what influences what they eat is marketing. And so you will see marketing coming in various forms and shapes. You will see a happy meal where you get a, a, a toy. So of course you want the toy, so you try and encourage mommy to go and get you that happy meal at that place. You will see this concept of supersizing foods where you have, you pay like a dollar extra and you get double the amount of food. So naturally the average person is going to say, well, a dollar, I mean, let me do that. And then you have all this food and you say, wow, I paid for it, let me eat it. And so it's a way that marketing actually promotes overeating. And then of course there's a marketing um, where you use the cartoon characters. We know, for example, that if you take a child on a free trip to a fast food restaurant, you're building brand loyalty. And that child will eat at that fast food restaurant going forward. We know that in some schools, the, the fast foods are marketing in the schools. They, they, they brand the blackboards and the pencils and the pencil cases and the book covers. So those children look at the fried chicken and the french fries all day. And when they come out of school, that's what they want to eat because they have been brainwashed. And this is actually against the recommendation of the World Health Organization because they and the CARICOM heads of government, because both of those groups have said there should be no marketing of unhealthy food to children in schools. But it's happening all over.